Highlanders, have you ever asked yourself, is life real or an imagined dream? Is there a difference? Are we trapped in a dream of this earthly dimension? Well, if so, how do we awaken from it? From the time she was a little girl, Caroline Gervais was haunted with the questions about her purpose on Earth. So she wrote a book called I Dreamed I Was Human. And Carolyn joins us now. Hello, Carolyn. Hello. Thank you for coming on the show, and you are a Tucson native. Yes, I am. All right, so you were having these dreams somewhere under the desert sky. Yes. When did you start thinking, okay, I'm going to put that into something useful. I'm going to write it down, mm -hmm. write a book about it. When did I start thinking about doing that? Oh, probably about 35 years ago. Mm. Yeah, I've always been, I've been preparing to write the book. Mm -hmm. So. Well, you must be like a soul searcher. I Because am. these questions are really heavy. Yes, they are. So tell us, how do, you, how do you even begin to answer those? I mean, is life a dream or is it real? I mean, those are things that you almost, there's never really an answer to. Which one do you want answered? <laughs> Wait, yeah, right? <laughs> Any way you want to take it. Okay. Well, like I said, I've been studying uh, theosophy, metaphysics, spirituality, and anything in the metaphysical field since I was 17 years old. Okay. So uh, trying to find out the purpose mm -hmm. of even being human and being on this planet, you know, because I, I wasn't real comfortable with being here. So I wanted to know, okay, well, if I have to stay here, why? Right. right. It's pretty rare to be so existential as a teenager. Yes, yes, it is, but I'm kind of weird. <laughs> 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 but uh, anyway, so through my studies after 35 years, I realized through meditation and contemplation uh, that um, we were given the gift of free will before we were born. Mm -hmm. However you want to describe how we were created, that's fine, but we were created and given free will. That free will had allowed us to create the world we wanted to experience and how we lived in that world. That's how I see it. So people are blaming this other force for their problems when in reality it's our free will that causes us to make the choices that creates our reality. Mm -hmm. Which, and, and as we're doing that, every choice we make is just a perception through everything that's happened to mm. us. Right. It's a perception. It's not an absolute. So that means that life is really a dream because we're making it up as we go along. And uh, the illusion, this is the illusion because we are dreaming that we here are here through our imagination and uh, this is where we find ourselves. You have said that uh, positive thinking can be a house of cards. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, positive thinking has been around for probably, I don't know, hundreds of years, but uh, when people um, practice positive thinking, they think all they have to do is just uh, sit down and visualize in their mind something they want to come into their life and then say a few affirmations. Uh, but that only works if you can feel, actually feel what it is you want. Mm -hmm. um, imagine it and feel the excitement of it and see it clearly. And the affirmations have to be felt as well. You make up your own affirmations and they have to be felt as well. And, but the only problem is we all have underlying issues, um, mm -hmm. fears, uh, oh, I'm not good enough or, or I don't know if I really deserve this, those kinds of things and experiences that we haven't resolved, that we haven't healed. And all of those affect and cancel out what we're trying to do by thinking positive because they're there their energy that, that is in us and those issues are there and they need to be dealt with in order to not keep sabotaging ourselves mm -hmm. before this positive thinking we can really believe it and feel it and know that okay this is what I want and I'm going after it in my thinking in my actions and through education whatever it takes to go in the direction we're wanting to go. Mm -hmm. That was wonderful.
I love Thank that. You. I feel fired up already, don't you? <laughs> fired up for what I want in life. Good for you. Thank you so much for joining You're us. You're welcome. And to learn more about her book, I Dreamed I Was Human, you can go online to awakeningyou.com.